Hello, darlings. So, I'm doing some Palo Santo cleansing today. I don't know why I just said that like a white girl. Palo Santo. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, because we're going to be using some very special decks today. Um, if you're bothered by the concept of the duality between light and shadow, this is not the reading for you, and I'm not the reader for you, because we're going to be using the angel tarot and the demon tarot to get today's message, okay? And I'm going to do things a little differently. We're normally, um, I'm like more of it's coming out, so I might as well use it over here. <laughs> normally, um, I pull oracle cards, but I'm going off of, I've been getting a lot of dream downloads lately. And some of them are personal, I'll keep those for me, but some of them are for the collective. So we're going to be using the part that's for the collective to set the theme, okay? So a portal closing, we're going to be looking at that. What is this portal closing, okay? Um, by the way, I want to mention real quick um, that these free collective messages... I will continue trying to post them on Facebook. They're not letting me create videos right now. But um, if that changes, I will keep posting them on here for now. Just be posting reels and clips and y'all just have to go watch them on YouTube. All right. All right, let's see. And if y'all can't sign up to Patreon, every comment counts, every reaction counts, every share counts, those things still matter, all right? You can still support me that way, and I appreciate that just as much as people who sign up to Patreon. All right, what's this portal? Let me start with temperance. This says, reconciliation regains the favor of those one has offended. Hmm. Okay. this portal closing tell us about this portal closing the hermit alchemy and transformation rules natural events helps with spiritual progress queen of cups oh this person showed up in the other collective story which is free it's the last one that'll be available to everyone but it's it's free Redemption serves against enemies of religion, governs chastity. And the Four of Pentacles. Self-atonement cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. That's interesting. Lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated motivation. I feel, okay, so in the collective story, which you will be able to watch because I, I made it free, everybody is going to be able to access it. Um, it's the last one, then it'll only be on Patreon. I saw an emperor that had, and I'm getting this because it's the first thing that started coming to mind, reconciliation. This Queen of Cups has been doing something both, to both an emperor and an empress. And I feel like the portal closing, the portal that I saw closing, was whatever hold this Queen of Cups had over this Emperor. And watch, you'll see. You'll see the confirmation the confirm in the clarifiers, because this is what I'm feeling. It's, it's ending. Like, um, if there had been, let's say that there was some sort of portal she had placed on this. And that can be multiple things, right? It could be, it could be a talisman she was using to to siphon energy from this emperor. It could have been a, a spell. It could have been an entity. Whatever it was that this queen was using over the emperor or the empress really right now, I don't know. I feel like it's more the emperor because it says that in the other collective story, I said the emperor might have done something, might have been an enemy of the empress at some point. And this one says, regains the favor of those one has offended. Reconciliation. I feel like this is the emperor coming back to reconcile with this empress because they might have offended them by believing whatever it was this queen of cups had been saying. And look, alchemy and transformation. This is the hermit. So this emperor has either had a spiritual awakening or they started alchemizing whatever was being done to them. They started alchemizing it. They learned to transform it. 
and they started progressing spiritually. So either they had a spiritual awakening, because honestly, we don't just have one spiritual awakening. We have multiple, right? So they've had um, one of the big spiritual awakenings, and it's helping them progress, or they've already had a spiritual awakening, and they're tapping into that side of themselves that that helps them progress. But this Queen of Cups is also trying to redeem themselves. They believe, and this came up in the other collective, they're coming up as serving against enemies of religion. They believe that this Empress is an enemy of God. They believe that they are doing God's work. Governs chastity. This person is one of those holier-than-thou people. I don't know if they're religious or if they just think that they're doing God's work. But look. Cures mental illness. This is what I found fascinating. They were doing something to create uh, mental health issues for the emperor. So they might have been creating a lot of mental health issues. It's a wide range. It's a wide range of things that could have been affecting them, right? But it could have been as as uh, something like um, anxiety, depression, all the way up to hallucinations, schizophrenia. They were they were fucking with this person's mental health, but they're being delivered from that. They're being freed from that. So let's clarify. <clears throat> Clarify temperance. Justice, yep. Clarify temperance. The sun. Eight of pentacles. <clears throat> yep, five of wands. Look at that. So... This and I really feel it's the Emperor's part. I don't that's the first thing that came to mind, so I'm going with that, okay? But I really feel like they were they were either planting something in the Emperor's subconscious, and I believe it's it's very pernicious thoughts. And this is why I tell you guys you have to be really careful with your thoughts, the things that you tell yourself. Because I think that the things that they were putting in this Emperor's mind was things that made them embattled with themselves, but it's their weakness. Because I've told you this before and I'm going to say it over and over until you guys get it. You will only be uh, susceptible or vulnerable to black magic if you are not addressing your weaknesses. If you are not addressing the things that are <clears throat> that you know you need to work on and you don't want to. So this emperor might have had a very uh, difficult time with their mental health. You see how they're, like, maybe on the outside they appeared really balanced, but on the inside there's all these waves and chaos. Um, and it was getting worse until they addressed it. Because, see, the moon is what's hidden. The sun is what's brought to light. So I think that this emperor... <clears throat> justice card. But see, the justice card and the other collective, it came out about possibly a divorce. So... This doesn't, I, I should have said this in the other collective story, but this doesn't have to mean a divorce. It could mean that there was a contract between these two. Maybe this was a partnership. Maybe this was a, a work situation. Whatever it was, a contract is being addressed. And I think a contract is being broken. And that that's because this emperor did the work. They, the, it's difficult. When we start changing something that we've been doing for a very long time, it doesn't matter if the thing we're changing is a mindset or a habit or a, you know, a, a way of, of seeing the world, a perception. It doesn't matter what it is we're changing. If it's been something we're used to doing for years, changing it is definitely a challenge. But the emperor put in the work. And by putting in the work, they got clarity. And when they got clarity, they broke the contract. They broke the hold. That's the portal that's closing. Oh, interesting. Okay, clarify the hermit. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> I told you. I told you this is that emperor that showed up in the other collective. He also showed up as a king of cups repeatedly. Now, there could be, there could be two different people. Because in the other collective, I saw the emperor and then I saw the king of cups. And this king of cups showed up as the pair to this queen of cups. It could be that the emperor and the king of cups are two different people. We'll see. We will see. Clarify the Hermit. Look at that. I told you. 
I told you, clarify the hermit. And the fool with the Knight of Cups. So it, it definitely could be that this is not the Emperor and I should have considered that possibility in the other collective, but it could definitely be that this is not an Emperor. Although they're the ones that are showing up that's gonna match this Empress, so I have a feeling that they are. Um, because what was being held was their ability to see that the Empress was their match. And that's being broken free from. They're releasing themselves from this that portal that was possibly siphoning their the the portal could have been doing two two different things or one or the other. It was either sending a certain energy to cause confusion to to enhance insecurities, um, to block the vision of seeing who the Empress was to them. Or two, it was siphoning energy to where they felt really depressed, they felt really low, they were always drained, or it was doing both, one of the two. Um, but with the Hermit here, this is the energy of going within, right? And it's alchemy and transformation. They started learning how to alchemize energy, how, to, how they required growth, how they required transforming. Rules, natural events, which says that this was meant to happen. You couldn't stop this. Because I will tell you this. Um, spirits and entities cannot read our mind. They cannot control our mind unless we let them. So this is, although this, this Queen of Cups could have been affecting their energy, either by sending something to them or taking something or both, they can't stop a person healing. That's why black magic is never an excuse for why people act a certain way, because they cannot control your mind. They can attack your weaknesses, but they cannot control your mind. And this person went within. They started alchemizing, transforming, naturally progressing in their in their spiritual path. So, whatever was holding them back, if the Hierophant represents, if this was a marriage, because that's what I saw in the other one, it could be a marriage, but it could be a contract, whatever it is that society told them you can't do this, they're freeing themselves from it. They're taking a leap of faith because they have now understood who their actual partner is. When before they believed it was this Queen of Cups. Clarify Queen of Cups. I think it's it's fascinating to me that this Queen of Cups keeps showing up upright, but it could be because they're not an evil person. They're just, they're going off of beliefs that are making them do evil things. <sighs> I just think that they are the ones that really have mental health issues. And and keep in mind, I'm not saying so, that if somebody suffers from mental health, they're, they're an evil person. That's not true. But you're going to find a variety of people in every walk of life. And just like there's people who are perfectly kind and compassionate while, have, while you know struggling with their mental health, there's people who use mental health struggle as an excuse to treat other people in a, sh in a really shitty way. Clarify Queen of Cups. Yep. That's, <laughs> I told you, three of swords, three of cups, wow. And two of pentacles. So in the other, wow, wow. In the other collective story, because this is the collective message, but in the collective story, which is way longer, um, it'll give a lot more details if you want to go watch that one first. This queen of cups may see the empress as the third party. And she may blame, she's blaming the Empress. She's obsessed with blaming the Empress for the dissolution of her marriage or whatever partnership this is. But we also saw in the other collective story that this Queen of Cups has betrayed the King. So if the King found out that this Queen had some sort of portal open or closed, like either siphoning or sending energy to them, that's a betrayal. But I feel like it, it could be other things too. For some, it's even more... There's more to it. <laughs> um, they were also sleeping with other people. They had an STD. Things like that, which confirmed to the king, this queen is um, not my partner. But the queen is obsessed with blaming the empress for her heartbreak, for, you know, this king being wanting to, to leave her. They're trying to say, well, this person is interfering. Excuse me, is interfering in my connections. They're recognizing what they did 
to destroy the connection. That's why redemption is here too, because the Queen of Cups is trying to redeem themselves. They're trying to restore balance. The problem is, the way that they're doing it is just creating more issues. Instead of fixing things, they're just kind of confirming to this masculine why they don't want to be with this person. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about this situation, about this portal closing? We've got Page of Pentacles, Morax. Teaches astronomy and liberal science, knows the virtues of precious stone and herbs, gives very good familiars. All right. The star can cause love or hate, can make one ignorant and without sense, delivers familiars from other magicians, can move from one place to place, can move one from place to place. And there it is. The Three of Swords again. Steals treasures from kings, destroys cities and the dignities of men, tells of things past, present, and future, causes love between friends and foes. And the Six of Pentacles, this one also came up in the other one, teaches astrology and liberal science, reveals hidden treasures, and brings excellent familiars. This is so interesting to me because I just I just got something else that I didn't get in the other in the other collective. Um, I I also said, remember the Three of Swords showed up with the Queen of Cups, right? I also said that they were trying to steal what belonged to the Empress, but I have a feeling that they also stole from this king. That could be the betrayal. For some, it'll be. For some, it'll be the the betrayal of the energetic interference. Right, either they were sending something or trying to take something from this king. Um, on top of that, they might have stolen money, or they might have stolen documents. They stole some treasure from this king, and for others, it could be that they also also committed adultery or betrayed the partnership, whatever the partnership was in some way. So there's a lot of different things. That's why it's so toxic that this queen is trying to blame the empress because in reality, they are the ones that destroyed this connection. No one else but them. So <clears throat> this tells me that they might've been using, it says knows the virtues of precious stones and herbs. This could have been somebody who was using um, storing certain energies in certain stones and then giving them to the king that might have been the portal or they might have been giving them uh certain herb mixtures oh i hope not that's terrible but see they were acting this is weird because it says can cause love or hate i think that they they had a love hate relationship with this king for sure um and it made them act out of a place of ignorance and without sense wow talk about clear but i think that they definitely took from this king it destroyed they tried destroying the dignity of this king let's see clarify the three the page of pentacles <laughs> what did i say i told you they gave i even i said this in the other collective i said they could have been given a talisman of some sort so the talisman could have been a stone. Um, either it was just a, a stone like, you know, you give somebody a crystal as a gift, or it came in a ring, uh, maybe in a necklace, a pendant, something they wanted this person to wear all the time. But it was keeping this person, um, it was keeping the king with a portal on them. Clarify, Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles and Five of Wands, yep. It was causing a lot of conflict in them. Look at this. I can't. I'm telling you. They gave this king something. I don't know what it was, but whatever they... And it could have been hidden, too. As in, maybe they gave them this cute little... I don't know. A cute little jewelry box. And in the jewelry box, they hid a stone. And they were like, oh, this is meant to protect your treasures. When in reality, it's meant to... Um, keep a portal open in their home or something like that. They planted something on them. <sighs> wow. Um, 
You know what's crazy? This card talks about good familiars. And this card talks about excellent familiars. And this one teaches art and science, tells anything one desires to know, gives dignity, can make any man subject to one's demands, gives good familiars. Oh my God, that's what it was? The portal made this king almost a slave to this queen. They would do anything she wanted. They probably didn't understand why, but I have a feeling this king may have pets. Either cats, especially cats. Cats are very sensitive to this. Dogs, um, birds, a spider, whatever. A snake. They have some sort of familiar because that's three cards. Familiars, familiars, and familiars. And I think that their, their pets, I don't know what they did, but they, they gave some sort of indication that there's something wrong with this thing, with this object. Either it was a necklace, a ring, a bracelet, um, just a crystal that they had already infused that energy with, or something. Whatever it was, they got some sort of indication from it. The thing is, I think that this queen, with the Page of Pentacles, I remember over here it says, where was it? Um... Here, ignorance and without sense. I think that this queen didn't really have a lot of knowledge of what she was doing. She doesn't really have the, this is not her specialty. She might have just been receiving instruction from somebody. Maybe somebody gave her an idea of what to do. And maybe that's why she keeps up showing up in the upright because she didn't realize how heavy that would be on the king. She didn't realize the impact it would have. But honestly, no, that's still not an excuse. Because over here, it shows up with, can make any man subject to one's demands. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And look, we've also got the Ten of Wands. Causes and cures disease. Tells secrets and things hidden. Can make one shapeshift. And then the Empress... She was making, oh man, this is like multi-levels, multi-levels, because the Ten of Wands is oppression. So she was trying to create some sort of image, press some sort of image onto the Empress. That That's how this King of Cups would see the Empress. So she was ship, shape-shifting, not only herself, but the Empress, as in she distorted the way that the Empress was seen, and she distorted the way she was seen to where she was seen as a Queen of Wands. She was seen as somebody who... Everybody needed to give everything to her and, and obey her. And they couldn't hold any secrets from her. But it also, you know what's interesting? I think that there, this, there's something about the familiars. There's something about this king's pets. Because where was it? Good familiar. It says, delivers familiars from other magicians. This might have been something that they put in a pet. Or they might have been doing something because this is like it frees your, your familiars from being used by other people. Wow. I don't know, but I really don't think they're showing up as a page of pentacles. I really don't think this queen. Um, hold on. <clears throat> and by the way, I'm sneezing because it's cold, not because I have allergies today. Um, just so you know, I have to, I want to mention something about that. <laughs> the reason I don't like taking for those people who are trying trying to be helpful but i like taking natural supplements for my body i don't like filling it up with pharmaceuticals and bullshit like that um but one of the reasons i don't take a lot of things to help with my allergies is because i know my body and when i have allergies i'm pushing too hard i'm going like I, that means that i've probably am sleeping very little because I work a lot. I'm a Taurus moon. I work all day. <laughs> I love what I do. And sometimes I go too far. Because I love what I do. I spend all day doing it. And my body is is like the... Have you guys ever heard of the canaries that they would take down to the mines? They would take canaries down to mines in the old days. Because if there was any methane seeping out of the... Um, out, of ground, out of the ground, out of the walls... A canary's lungs are a lot smaller than a human's lungs. And methane, I think it's methane, the gas that they were trying to be careful of, it's invisible and you can't smell it. So it can it's a silent killer. And if the canary 
died, it would let them know, oh shit, we need to get out, we need to get out. So to me, my allergies are my little canary. They are letting me know because I push and push and push and push and push. Sometimes I don't realize that my body needs rest <laughs> because I'm so engrossed in what I'm doing. And me getting allergies is my body's way of saying, hey, slow down, you're doing too much. So I don't like removing the symptom when the symptom is just an alert my body's giving me of something being wrong. Do you see what I'm saying? Those of you who enjoy removing symptoms are probably going to end up a lot more ill later down the line because you're removing the warning sign. I don't like removing the warning sign. So if it bothers you, I'm probably not the reader to watch because I'm never going to do anything about my allergies because I need them to alert me when something is wrong. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> back to where we were. Yeah. So I don't think this queen is... Um, knowledgeable in what she was doing she just found she may have found this on the internet somewhere she may have found it in a book in a grimoire and she thought oh it's a great idea i can control this king this way but if you're trying to control someone that's not love that's obsessive controlling honestly it's narcissistic behavior and that's probably one of the main reasons this king is like no nah, fuck this whatever they were given um it was meant to, to have a hold. Like it was meant to keep this king there to build. But again, it was playing on the king's weaknesses too. So, clarify the star. Oh, wow. That card literally did a backflip and a triple flip and a, hold on. Let me fix my blankie. Hold on, hold on. I've got this blanket to keep me warm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Clarify the star. Look at that. I told you. I told you. Clarify the star. Um, can y'all hear that thunder? Can y'all hear it? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like the gods are displeased. The gods and angels are displeased. Um, what I find very interesting is that there's three pages just in this little spread. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. This was like I feel like this Queen of Cups has a lot of, has a, has a severely wounded inner child, like severely wounded. But they also don't heal it. They thrive off of those wounds. They believe that that makes them stronger somehow. This is somebody who does not believe in vulnerability. They give off the impression that they do, but they really don't. They believe in control is what they believe. So they started seeing this, this, um, the star here has multiple meanings though, because it's the, it can cause love or hate. So I feel like they have like a love hate relationship with their own King of Cups, which led to all this destruction. And at some level, the King of Cups might have met this Empress and then it gave them like, oh, that's the person responsible for all the problems that I have instead of holding themselves accountable. <clears throat> so this Queen of Cups started comparing herself to this Empress. I don't know if she was comparing herself physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially. I don't know what it was because it's going to be different for different people. But can make one ignorant and without sense. She was acting from a, from a place of not only not knowing what's actually going on, but lacking common sense. Um, it helped her transfer, her, like her inner child was really triggered, really, really triggered. And it helped her transfer all of her woes, all of her problems, all of her angst onto this empress. And like, you are responsible for what I'm going through. So, 
she tried doing things to her too. Because to her, she was responsible for her heartache. Not, <laughs> no, not this queen. Clara Path Three of Swords. Clara Path Three of Swords. See, Three of Cups. Wow, what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just fucking say? Clara Path Three of Swords. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so. Okay, so this is something that we can tell is, is tangible. One of the things that the Empress could do that this Queen of Cups could not is be a Queen of Pentacles. So she might have her own business or she was very good and savvy with money. Um, she's good at putting things together. And this one over here is like, oh, hell no. She started creating blockages because it might have been, she might have seen this King of Cups admire that about this Empress. They might have been friends. But see, we keep getting these threes. Three of Pentacles, three of Swords, three of Swords, three of Cups. The Empress herself is a three. So it was easy for this Queen of Cups to just transfer all of her anger onto this Empress because she was like, well, this empress took my sleep, took my peace. I'm going to take hers. When Without trying to dig and see, is it anything I'm doing that's creating these problems for me? No, 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 no. According to her, it's the empress. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's see. Let's do one last... Um, spread with the angel tarot and the names to the tarots are going to be down below the description box just so you guys know ten of cups the hanged man and the five of swords okay <laughs> with the wheel of fortune metatron all right so let's let's read the energy that comes with these uh, the Wheel of Fortune says advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. Akashic Records. The lovers. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. Queen of Pentacles. This is the Empress. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensations. Hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. With the Ten of Cups, we've got Divine Warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. Peace. Remember, she was trying to take this empress's peace. The hanged man, desire for knowledge, protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> Told you. I love it. And then five of swords, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. Oh, she gonna learn today. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what the angels were like. No, she gonna learn today. She's gonna learn. She's gonna learn. So what I find fascinating is that this energy here, and look, there's the Empress. The Empress, fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couple. I'm telling you, that was the Empress. So this Empress is destined to be with this King of Cups, which who is an Emperor. He's not showing up really because this isn't so much about him. The portal that closed is giving us an explanation of why it was even there in the first place. This is written in the Akashic Records. This is written in the Book of Life. That these two were meant to be together. So, of course, you can't stop this. It doesn't matter what you, what you throw towards these people. You can't stop it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They're, they're going to end up with the Ten of Cups and then underneath the, the Empress, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. These, these two are going to have an amazing, an amazing relationship because they're meant to. They, this is their, there's different types of contracts we make and this is a contract they had already made, but it wasn't like a karmic one. This is one that was written in the Book of Life. This is one that was written in the Akashic Records. That means that they have they serve a purpose. An empress and an emperor coming together serve a purpose. They are going to influence Earth, the people of Earth, in some way. Clarify Ten of Cups. Let's see. 
there he is there he is the man of the hour hold on i just got the the ping to shuffle real quick and by the way for those of you wondering why i did the zodiac signs the way i did them um, i started with scorpio because i should have done the readings in scorpio season so that they could be first Whoever season it is, is the season I, is the zodiac sign I start with. So whenever I do readings with Sagittarius season, I'm going to start with Sagittarius and then Scorpio will be last. That's why Libra was last. So just in case you wonder why I do them in a certain order, they're all in order, but I start with whoever season we're in. Okay. Clarify Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Tower. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So on some level, some of the black magic that was done, and I'm just going to call it black magic because trying to control someone's will is nefarious, it's evil, I'm never going to support that. Um, this, this work that was done, on this king of cups is because this king of cups had to face certain parts of himself with the ten of pentacles it was either the way he was raised the way he perceived status the way he perceived wealth the way he perceived stability he had to face that maybe maybe this is this king of cups was the type of person that um because remember when the queen of wands came up over here it was talking about can make any man subject to one's demands so it could be that this King of Cups was the type of person that believed that if you love someone, you have to give them everything they want, no boundaries. And no, that's not how it works because it creates an imbalance in power. And they had to face that. So once that realization hit, once that light turned on, that switch flipped, they were like, oh, oh. And they realized where their happiness actually was. Interesting. Yep. Clarify the hanged man. Let's see. Because this, the hanged man is interesting. Usually the hanged man is a pause. It's it's being held. But in this one, it's actually the opposite. It protects from liars, evil, spirit, evil spells, and bad spirits. So this is how they freed themselves. Let's see. Clarify the hanged man. Clarify the hanged man. Two of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed, interesting, with the Three of Swords. Okay, this is fascinating because in the other collective story, they showed up as a King of Pentacles upright, but I think that they were a King of Pentacles reversed and that's where they had them by the balls. Because again, and I'm sorry for the crude reference, <laughs> that's the i'm sorry it just came out okay um <laughs> remember lies evil spells bad spirits they attack our weaknesses they're meant to address our weaknesses and i think that this king of cups either one they were somebody who was not very commitment oriented so they might have stayed this might have been a marriage that was like an open marriage or it was a a marriage where both people just could do things in separate let's just not talk about it right uh, because it, it's addressing their commitment issues that's the first thing i heard when the king of pentacles came out but also it definitely with that ten of pentacles it definitely is addressing the way this king used to see wealth used to see status used to see um yeah those are the things that came the most like they might have been a little superficial they might have been focused on the wrong things until I also feel with this, whatever they were given, it's like they played this game of hot and cold. They were trying to figure out, they might have also had their own little download, either either from an angel or from a spirit guide, um, desire for knowledge. They were looking, they were searching already because they knew something was off. And this makes me think that they played this game of hot and cold. So... Let's say that it was a piece of jewelry, okay? I'm just going to give an example. They might not have known, if they were with this person for years, they might have been given several things, right? 
and they didn't know which one it was and they didn't know who it came from even. So what they started doing is saying, okay, today I'm only going to wear this and I'm going to see how I feel. Okay, no, it's not that one. I'm going to wear this and I'm going to see, like, they were doing this, like, is it this? No. Is it that? When I get closer, does it, when I step away, does it, like, they were doing this hot and cold thing of like, what changes when I get closer to this? What changes when I get further away from it? And it could have been that they even did that with this Queen of Cups or with other people in their lives. But it definitely was them looking within because with the Three of Swords, they might have been carrying wounds, um, trauma from childhood that made them behave this way. And they started addressing it like, okay, what's making me do this? Because the Five of Swords is actions you can't take back. It's self-defeating thoughts, blockages, manipulation triggers and here is desire to know again over here desire for knowledge desire to know the acquisition of wisdom this person started addressing their triggers they start addressing their weaknesses they start addressing their pain clarify the five of swords good for them that's how an emperor is born yes <laughs> clarify five of swords Two of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yes, good job. Clarify Five of Swords. Oh, Six of Wands reversed. Okay. With the Four of Wands. Okay, so again, this tells me several things. Either one, how this person used to approach relationships. Um, I think that they, and, and again, this, this maybe came from their their perspective on how they were raised, the things that they went through. They might have perceived relationships as a power thing, like who who's in power. Whoever makes the decisions is the person in power. They didn't see relationships as a partnership. They didn't see relationships as um, we're a team. They saw it as I'm in control. I'm the one that makes the call. But it also made them very susceptible to manipulation because as long as somebody pretended that they could make that decision... They could be persuaded to make all sorts of decisions. That's at least with this one. Um, and two, it really helped them understand like why they were seeing maybe the Empress a certain way or the Queen of Pentacles a certain way and the Queen of Cups a certain way. Because whatever it is that they had stagnant, emotional stagnancy, they, they were like, let's attack it. Let's address it. Uh, but the Six of Wands reversed, they realized... That a lot of their actions were coming from a place of being triggered. Their ego was the one guiding them. They had like maybe an overinflated sense of importance. And they were... <sighs> this is so interesting. They were used to somebody who acted like a Queen of Cups. But the Queen of Cups is not really... Not in this spread. She's not really very submissive. She's not really very... Um... Look, she's showing up. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, here she is, Queen of Wands. Can make any man subject to one's demands. She could control this king by acting like she was submissive. So whenever they met somebody who would honestly say, no, it's not okay, no, I'm not gonna, they immediately assumed this person is not submissive without realizing that submission means different things. You know, this one was like a subtle manipulator while the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, is more direct with what they want and how they feel. And this person wasn't used to that because they were used to the appearance of submission. It's not that the Empress can't allow someone else to take control. It's that that doesn't mean she's going to allow you to walk over her. She will speak up when she's not okay with something. And they weren't used to that. It, it threatened their ego. So when they started understanding that, like a tower moment happened. Because also, I think that if they did start, not if, because they clearly did, we get all these messages about them addressing their wounds, addressing their triggers, they might have also stepped into the Akashic Records and realized who the Empress was to them. Because in this deck, these two are major arcanas. They're even in a different color than the other cards. They're gold, because these are like the heavy ones, the heavy energies, <laughs> Akashic Records and the Lovers. Destiny, pre-written. 
and it's coming up with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. And when they realize that, that was a big tower moment. So there's, yeah, that portal definitely closed like a motherfucker. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's that's what I got for you. Um, if this resonated with you, I am always looking forward to feedback as usual. And if it didn't resonate with you, I still hope that you took something of value from it. And um, if you enjoy these, these are the ones that I'm still going to be uploading free on YouTube and little reels on Facebook. The other longer one will be on Patreon. So I hope to see you on either one. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.